Home. The word brings to mind so many things for so many different people. I remember the scene from one of the first episodes of Little House on the Prairie when Laura went darting up the ladder into the loft at the little house on Plum Creek. She sat on the new bed smiling over at her pa and said, I've decided something. Home is the nicest word there is. To which pa replied, one of the nicest, that's for sure. Sometimes home is a place, and sometimes it's a state of mind. Home can simply be the people we are with, or a familiar smell that brings memories to mind. I have come to realize in the last couple of years the vast importance of cultivating a heart of peace in ourselves, so that our presence often feels like home to others. And while I love home in all its many forms, and I would agree with Pa that it's one of the nicest words there is, I also know that this world is not my home, and I'm just passing through.
Here is an excerpt of a prayer from the Puritan devotional book, Valley of Vision. Here I am an ant, and as I view a nest of ants, so does thou view me and my fellow creatures. But as an ant knows not me, my nature, my thoughts, so here I cannot know thee clearly, but there I shall be near thee, dwell with my family, stand in thy presence chamber, be an heir of thy kingdom as a spouse of Christ, as a member of his body, one with him who is with thee, and exercise all my powers of body and soul in the enjoyment of thee, as praise in the mouth of thy saints is comely. So teach me to exercise this divine gift. When I pray, read, hear, see, do, in the presence of people and of my enemies, as I hope to praise thee eternally hereafter. We wanted to thank you all so much, as always, for coming back to our little house on the mountain. For more information, you can visit ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. And God willing, I'll see you all on the next one. I pray shalom over your home. Bye, friends.